I don't know if you can see that in this somewhat poor lighting, but it's, uh, it's notched and ridged, so it will actually click into the receiver on the prosthetic leg um, and then uh, be released by the button that I showed uh, earlier. And uh, so it's got uh, like a, a cotton mesh type of material uh, covering the inner um, silicone uh, body of, of the um, of the sleeve that covers my leg and I'll show you that this is my second liner and as you can see it's sort of a, a rubbery material it's it's actually um, silicone and because of it of um, the need for a good grip on the residual leg uh, they use the silicone because um, as your your body heats up it will actually um, the silicone will grip to your skin without damaging it and you can see here the uh, the inside of what is the residual of, of the uh, the pin socket and uh, so that is how uh, the, the the pin is held in place now that's also covered by a silicone um, uh, covering so that doesn't irritate the stump on the residual plate or on the residual leg so that is a brief um, video on how the prosthetic leg is put together and some of the reasons uh, that it functions the way it does and how it can be adjusted to make things uh, look and feel more natural as you walk and uh, uh, a little bit on, on where uh, the pressure points lie when you do walk. So uh, I'll sign off for now. I'll bring you another video uh, shortly. And uh, if you have any questions that you want to ask, please feel free. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to this, uh, to this channel because there's going to be lots more to come. And I'd just like to uh, wish you uh, all the best if you're working with a prosthetic uh, limb. Now this is one of many designs, so I'm just uh, giving you information on the one I've got. Um, the, the, uh, the type of prosthetic that would be right for you should you need one is something that only your, your, your doctor and your, um, your occupational and physical therapist can help you with and uh, they'll make the, help you make the best decisions on what the needs are for your own prosthetic limb and why it would be the best choice for you. So all I'm doing is showing you the one that I've got and some of the features and benefits of the, of the uh, prosthetic leg that I've got. So thanks again for watching and, uh, you know, stay in touch. Let me know any questions and send me any comments on, on how I can better inform you about uh, the journey that I'm taking, um, getting myself back up and walking. Thanks again.